Hi, Rancho Santa Fe Women's Fund Foundation. My name is Deb Martin. I am the Executive Director of Elder Help. I had looked forward to meeting all of you in person, but thank you very so much for this opportunity to share a few minutes with you this morning. Um, the core of our mission is to help provide services and information that help seniors remain safely and with dignity in their own homes as long as possible. We've been doing that for 46 years. We strive to provide the most practical, effective, and affordable solutions to isolation health and access to medication, uh, medical services, and community engagement. And we do that through food and housing, companionship, transportation, and healthcare navigation. In response to the housing shortage and affordability issues in San Diego County, we created our housing services program, which is comprised of four primary programs, our innovative home share program that's been around for about 25 years, taking a senior with a spare bedroom, bathroom, and matching them up with someone in need of housing uh, below market rent. They either uh, provide companionship to each other or some kind of financial support or help around the house as well. We also have our resident services where we support two buildings with over 130 seniors in each of those buildings, providing social support services and activities. We handle over 3,000 calls a year through housing consultation helping those people find resources and local housing options for them. And we also do short-term housing navigation, uh, helping seniors get online, fill out applications, negotiate rent, and see available properties that might be available for them. Uh, obviously, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed not just the programs, but society itself. Now more than ever, um, Elder Help's mission and services are essential to what's happening out there with this high-risk population. We've changed all of our programs to no contact, which means that we are doing medically essential transportation to uh, essential health care issues, uh, clinics, hospitals, doctors, as well as picking up medication. Uh, we're doing lots of grocery shopping and delivering at the threshold of the door, delivering also essential supplies, paper products, gloves, masks, wipes, you name it. And we are working with food banks to also get that food and deliver it. And we have tripled the number of calls that we're making to all of our over 700 clients to check on them for isolation, depression, mental health support, and things like that. We're also using our volunteers to help with those check-in calls, since a large portion of them are 65 plus and also staying home. So we are just got our mouth over the broken fire hydrant, and we will continue working around the clock. Our staff are exhausted. We haven't had a break, and we anticipate when this is over that the demand and need is just going to surge. So we need all the help we can get. Thank you so very much for your support and consideration. I look forward to meeting you soon.